Welcome to Rick's Corner. You know, last time I put something out, I talked about tendon tears and how they affect the body, the bicep, the knees, the triceps. Uh, it's very common, and I had a lot of response on this show regarding tendon tears because it seems like a lot of people are getting them. Well, there's something else beside that. There's pinched nerves, and this is another common thing that I've been talking to a lot of people about. I started out with um, some carpal tunnel from using the computer, I believe. Uh, my wrist would start to hurt, my hand would start to spasm, and it just became really sore and it started to get numb. Over a period of I don't know how many months, it was just impossible to even sit still and my hand started hurting so bad. So somebody suggested carpal tunnel surgery. Um, I saw a doctor and what they actually do is they pinch, they, they cut into the base of the, of the palm and they clip a band that goes across your nerves to release all the compression. It's called decompressing it. Uh, it's a seven minute surgery. It uh, apparently works real well. Um, I've never heard of any bad results from it, but it's, it takes time. What happens is as the nerves get compressed and the pain goes away like overnight, however, the nerves take maybe six months to a year to get feeling back into them where you can actually feel your fingers again. So I made the appointment and I told my chiropractor about it. He says, don't do it. You don't need to do it. He says, I have a doctor in my office that will inject your wrist uh, with a solution and you can watch it on the ultrasound as he does it and he blows away all the connective tissue around the nerve, the median nerve. So I said, okay, I'll try it. I mean, it's 250 bucks, it's worth it. Sure enough, I mean, I saw that tissue just get out of the way instantly when he started injecting my hand. And by the next day, I had literally no pain in my hand at all. I haven't had any since, to be honest with you. It's been about five months. The tingling in here, um, it's hard to reach in my pocket and grab my keys or pick up something. I don't feel like it's in my hand. If there's something small on the floor, I can't grab it. And it's frustrating. However, it is a lot better than it was. It's, it's easing down towards the end of the hand, into the ends of the fingers, and I, from that part it takes, uh, they said well, it grows back one millimeter a day on the nerve, and by maybe eight months it's back to normal. So I'm waiting. I had this uh, treatment done a couple of times, and uh, it seems to help. Then they also told me, the doctor told me, I said, when I lay on my right side, now how many of you do this? You lay down in bed, and you lay on your side, and your hand goes down, and your arm falls asleep. I've heard this a lot. And they said, well, it's coming from your neck and I thought it was coming from my shoulder because I have a shoulder injury. So the last time I went in and I told him it was still numb, he says, let me inject in your neck. He says, this seems to be a main problem too with the nerve, again, the scalene muscle tightens up on the nerve and goes down your arm and makes your hand go numb and your arm. Well, I have also noticed from that that my right arm got smaller than my big arm. Um, my right arm has always been bigger, but now it's at least an inch smaller and it's from the pinched nerve. I remember Paul Orndorff, the wrestler, had nerve damage in his, in his shoulder and his neck, and his whole side of his body completely atrophied compared to the other side over a period of time because the nerves actually feed your muscle. It gives it a spark to work and to grow, and when the nerve gets compressed and, and dies, everything around it goes with it. So if you've ever had this complaint where your hand goes numb or your arm goes numb, see your doctor and see about prolotherapy. Prolotherapy is uh, basically it's a sugar water and some substance they inject into the tendons, which causes regrowth, builds more um, strength on the back of the hand for me, and the carpal tunnel is on the inside. So this doctor does both. He does the prolotherapy and he does the injection that alleviates the compression on the nerve. It can be very, very common. Um, you have nerves that go down your legs, you got them on your shoulders, you got your hands. Uh, a lot of neck issues come from pinched nerves, uh, from whatever you're doing that's irritating your neck. It can come just from sleeping wrong. There's all types of issues that this does, but I, I um, thought I'd share that with you because the torn tendons are one thing, but nerves too. I mean, it's you go into the gym. I mean, I went today and I did uh, chest and back. Well, my shoulders hurt because there's something pitching in the nerves in the back of my shoulders when I do pressing that causes the muscle to hurt. And all of a sudden, the weight will just fall out of my hand. It's almost like you grab something and the nerve hits, yeah, and just drop it. So uh, I want to go two more neck injections and see if that helps. Um, and, and when you train, it just becomes more painful. You just feel it and then you feel like, oh, you know, I don't even want to work out today. It hurts so bad. But I want to share that with you because it's common. The numbing in the hands is, is the most. I've heard this from these six guys in the gym that tell me their fingers are numb on one side. I've never heard this before in my entire life up until the past six months when I started talking about it. Oh yeah, I got the same thing, I got the same thing. It's very common in women who are secretaries because they're on a computer all day long and they're using their hands so the carpet tunnel sets in. It's straining this, this uh, tendon that goes down there. So I mean not tendon but the nerve. Anyway, that's my tip. I wanted to tell you guys about it. We talked about the torn tendons. We talked about this. We talked about that. Um, and your body is important to you and you're going to train hard and you want to feel good when you train. So I would suggest uh, if this bothers you, go see your doctor and tell them 
what I told you, and maybe there's a, it's a way out of the surgery, because, I mean, the surgery's not bad, but I mean, if I can do this instead, why have my hand and stitches for 10 days? I wanna work around that. And that's my tip of the week. I'll see you guys next time. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it and I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrazen.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.